So hi, thank you so much for being here, Wayne Ferreira, uh, for your time. So we're talking today about the generation gap, um, talking about having adults and juniors playing together. What's your thoughts on having those two generation things? Well, I've discussed it many times with a lot of people. Um, you know, I grew up, most of my tennis I played with adults. I played adult league, uh, played club uh, in the week on the weekends yeah. with adults. Um, you know, I did my junior stuff and everything, but I spent most of my time playing adult tournaments and leagues. And I think it was really beneficial for me. And most of the countries that produce good players all have adults. And I, coming from France, as you are, I played, spent when I was 16, traveled a lot and played the money tournaments, played a lot of adults. And so what do you think are the benefits, you know, mixing those two generations? I think you learn to play against a lot of different types of players. The adults are, may not play as well as some of the kids do, but they think a lot better, they're smarter, they know how to play the game, they play with different variations of games. I think the juniors now playing some of the older generation will still get to learn to play against someone who serves and volleys, chips and charges, you know, gives them an all-round kind of game. I also, when you're young and you play against an adult, you try harder. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you want, to, you want to do better and you want to try harder and you put in a better effort. So I think all around there's no negatives for me in uh, juniors and young kids. Yeah, we, we've talked to a few adults that were saying how, you know, they're playing against 16 or 17 and you just push harder and train harder and, and stuff like that. So, okay. And so, what is your opinion on, uh, or your ideas about we look for the next you know, Jenny's now or trying to get more into the top 50 or the top 100? Well, I think it, it definitely, you know, with the leagues that you have, the National League, C5, 4 all 5 levels and stuff, I think they should open for kids to play. Um, give them the opportunity to play those leagues. I mean, they're so big and so many I mean, all the time. And it's very well anticipated by the adults. It's very competitive. Extremely competitive <laughs> So what is a good age for you to start? Um, do you think there is any age to start? Or? Uh, probably, I mean, to, you know, you probably have a cap, cap on it maybe around 10, 10 or 12, mm -hmm. I think. But once you get to 12, you know, become very, very serious by that stage. So that's, a, you know, maybe a little bit younger, even 10. But uh, the, the sooner you can get out and start playing, this, the better it is for you. Yeah, it goes by level. So whatever level you, you can play, I, I think the adults are getting fun playing. play. So how do you see it, uh, the other way around, you know, for adults? Some were talking about mentoring, and some were talking physically, you know. And for you, when you when you look at it, what are, are the good parts of having adults mentoring the? I, th I think they taught me how to play the game. <laughs> that, I think that was it, you know, with, especially playing doubles with an adult, strategy-wise. I see. Know, most of the kids now that play doubles, they play from the baseline. Neither of them really know how to play properly, where to stand, um, you know, crossing different tactics and, and an adult knows I've played a long time they're very good at that and they teach them very very quickly it's almost like having a coach on the court all the time uh, and it's very very beneficial if you're in a match format that's very serious and you've been kind of taught how to play I think it's very good and then finally just you have your academy going on um, what are the things that you teach them or you know are, are you able to get them to, to mingle with adults and things like that are you able to get that yeah we try really hard to bring in some of the members and come and play uh, mostly singles they like it too we have uh, Jack who comes here a lot and he spends a lot of time with us and he's been playing with the kids and helping them out he's improved drastically <laughs> too though so I think it, it works both ways it's beneficial for them too as it is for the kids and we see a difference when they play with him and when they play with other kids they try harder they work harder they put in a better effort he makes them run more it's really good for them. think more <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And then, uh, good luck with that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.